Happy, Happy January. January. <laughs> Happy 2019. Welcome back to our channel. This video is going to be our Christmas book haul. We got so many books. He's so happy. I'm He's so happy. I think this is um really fun for us to share because I think this might be the first Christmas that we've received books as gifts. Um, and he's he's always been a book lover, but now that I've like been converted to loving books, now that I... your eyes have been opened to the <laughs> gloriousness that is reading and experiencing different worlds between the covers. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> that's really deep. I was really stoked to get books for Christmas, and these books come from family. They come from bookish friends, from the booktube community. So we're excited to share that with you. But first, before we get into that, I just want to mention that the biggest surprise of 2019 is finding out that my dad has a YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. That, that was, was shocking. I am very excited for him. My dad, he is a retired Marine. He retired as a gunny. He's a dean at a community college. He also teaches an ethics course. And uh, now he's created a YouTube channel basically focusing on the Catholic faith, kind of informing anyone more on what... Catholicism is and what the church teaches and whatnot, but he's doing it in a fun and stress-free way. He wants to engage conversation. He has a way of just making it very real. If you are interested in checking out his most recent video, it's actually kind of funny. I love that video somewhere right there. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to go with the books that, since we're already on the faith basis, we did get four books for Christmas. From my mom and dad. From mom and pop. And... If I can figure out how to do it, these are how they are, and I will read the titles off because I am very excited about these because these are all things that I very much enjoy reading. Fun fact, he was actually an atheist before we got married. I was something. You were, okay, look, on on your dating profile. On my dog tags, because those are with you and you. There we go, yeah. They on said your, atheist. They said atheist, and they also said it on the dating website that I found him on. So the first book we have is In the School of the Holy Spirit. All four of these books are to teach you more about the faith and the different aspects of each one. This one is going to be teaching us about a part of the Trinity that you don't really hear very much about, and that's the Holy Spirit. And actually, that's my favorite part of the Trinity, so yeah. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to read it. The next one is called The Seven Secrets of the Eucharist, written by Vinnie Flynn. This just goes into detail what the Eucharist is. So the third book we got was The Seven Secrets of the Divine Mercy. Yeah, no, that's the same. No, yeah, same author, Vinnie Flynn. And it carries on with the prayer. Divine Mercy, which is a prayer. Seven Secrets of the Confession. Again, by Vinnie Flynn. Yes. <laughs> I really do enjoy this author's writing style. Uh, I think it's very informative, and it kind of makes it to where you can understand it in this as yourself, and kind of break it down to that point. Break it down Barney style. There we go. All right, so the next book that I got was from my wonderful book, Two Friends, and uh, one of them is also from my sister-in-law. So let's get on into it. The first one, look at that, look at that. It is... Fire Touch, the eighth, eighth, yes, eighth book. Eighth. Eighth book in the Mercy Thompson series. Eighth. Yes, it's eighth because you have the tenth one up there and the eleventh book comes out this Yay! year. Oh my gosh, that's I gotta crazy. read it for you. Ha! Shoot. So um, I got this one from Bailey's, from Bailey's Book Babbles, and I have her gift note taped onto the inside cover, so I'll always know who it's from. And I actually think got that idea from Lacey, from Lacey B. Bell. Because when she got her books from friends, I think I saw her put it inside her books. And I thought that was just a really good idea. So, um, really excited to get into this one. I still have to read the seventh book. But Thomas says that he loves this guy right here. My guess is that this creature is very powerful and maybe chaotic. Um, I'm very curious. because Oh, and Dominant? Dominant? You're smiling. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> You're not telling me anything. Usually Thomas likes the, those characteristics of characters. I like that people creatures. can set, I like characters that can sit there and go, you're dead. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
<laughs> no problem at all. Love the Mercy Thompson series. If you're new to this channel and have never heard of Mercy Thompson, go check it out. It's an amazing series, especially if you love urban fantasies that include vampires, werewolves, fae, witches. What, what? Real vampires, not this Twilight stuff, you know? Come on now. And the next book that I got is, he loves this series too, Cry Wolf by Patricia Briggs from the Alpha and Omega series. I got this from Amy from Blonde and Bookish. Thomas, for a year, years, a long time, has been trying to get me to read this series. This is um, kind of like a spinoff of the Mercy Thompson series, and this follows a different character from that world. I actually already read this. I read this in two days. This one is more focused on the romance, I think. Um, there's action, but I think it's more heavily focused on the romance. So if you're into that, this is also another good one. I don't think you really need to read this series before Mercy Thompson or Mercy Thompson before uh, Alpha and Omega. No, this series is very good at not giving spoilers to that series and saying vice versa. But they're connected. Yes. They're connected. Charles and Brian Cornick, my two favorite werewolves. That's yeah, all I must say. they're more focused on in this series, and I absolutely love that. You learn more about them. Although, heads up, if you are thinking about reading Cry Wolf, although this is technically book one, you need to read the prequel before getting into this book. Oh my god, the argument that we got into I over hate this. prequels. Did you enjoy that prequel? I did, and yeah. it made <laughs> so much more sense going through the prequel before this one. You will be super confused if you read this one before the prequel. Right, you're not really going to understand the relationship or why Anna feels the way she does if you don't read the prequel. The prequel is called Alpha and Omega. And it kind of ties into why that book is more of a romance than... Yes. Yeah. I bought myself a Christmas book. It is called Six Gun Tarot by R.S. Belcher. If I butchered your name, I greatly apologize. I'm almost halfway through it. Um, greatly enjoying it thus far. Kind of hard to read. It's a dark epic fantasy. So this book is based in Nevada, 1869. Basically, you think Gold Rush, Wild Wild West, all that good stuff back in the tough and guns times ago. Basically, it goes into the expansion era. And it runs through some of the struggles of living in the desert in that time of life. And I really enjoy that. But it also has... A magical aspect. There's a Native American shapeshifter. Greatly recommend this book so far. And it is the beginning of a series. So I think it is a three book series. Trilogy. Yes, a trilogy. So another book that I got for Christmas is Four Cross by Marie Lou. I got it from Kate. And she has a YouTube channel as well. And this is a science fiction. And I've been wanting to get into more science fiction books. I just think I would enjoy them, and I definitely did enjoy the Illuminate Files series, which is also science fiction. If you have read Warcross, let me know and tell me what you think. I'm really excited to get into this one. I'll probably pick this one up after I'm reading the book I'm currently reading. The next books that we're going to talk about are the entire series from the Percy Jackson series. Um, I don't think I need to hold them all up, but that is a beautiful beautiful bind. It, it is. The first one is The Lightning Thief. Next one is The Sea of Monsters. I love these covers. The Titan's Curse. The Battle of the Labyrinth. The Last Olympian. And Greek Gods. And this one's actually illustrated by John Rocco. So um, we actually got this in the mail from our best friend. Emily! And this is middle grade. And honestly, I was never planning on reading any middle grade whatsoever. I didn't think I would enjoy it. I thought they'd be too childish for me. And this isn't me trying to say that anyone that reads middle grade is childish. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. But... After reading the series of unfortunate events and getting into Harry Potter, I realized that I do enjoy middle grade and I want to read more of them. And the Percy Jackson series is actually uh, one of Emily's favorite series. So I am excited to get into it eventually. I don't know when, hopefully next month, maybe. The next two that I got are mangas from the Fruits Basket series. Got the fifth one here and the seventh one. The fifth one I got 
from Kayla from On the Fritz. Really excited. And the seventh one I got from my sister-in-law, Destiny. So I'm so excited. Uh, brother's wife. Yes. <laughs> Very amazing. I need to get the sixth one because that's the one that I'm missing. So the final book that I got for Christmas is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. And I got this from the lovely Sarah from Novel Sarah and Dippity. I already started... <laughs> I already started reading this. I'm about 50 page into it. You guys. 50 page? 50 pages. 50 pages. 50 pages. <laughs> no, not farther than that. I'm 60 pages in. I'm on chapter 8 right now. And this is another science fiction. It is about a teenage girl named Spensa. She lives on this planet that is constantly being attacked by the alien known as the Krell, and she really wants to be one of the pilots to go up and fight. She's a fighter. She's spunky. She is, um, <laughs> she's someone that's willing to punch you if you insult her. She reminds me a lot of this guy right here. I yeah. would punch someone if they insulted me. Yeah, I would, would destroy them and shake them into a tiny little puddle. Spencer. <laughs> Spencer is probably the female version of my husband. Oh, too bad. <laughs> if only slightly. But so far, I really, really enjoyed this, and I'm really excited to see how she becomes a pilot and how she will grow um, and, as a character. So, yeah, that's it. Those are all the books that we got for Christmas. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. And let us know what you what books you have gotten for Christmas. Or if you bought yourself any books. Or you know what you're reading right now. Um, we'd love to know. And we hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you guys all have a beautiful and amazing 2019. Love you. We mean it. Take it easy. Bye. And Native American shape shifter shape shape shift shape shifter. Oh, is this the flying one? Flying one. No. Flying one. Star Wars. <laughs> That's all I got from choo, 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 that off uh, that automatic thing. The right. pilot. Wrong book. It is. Mm -hmm. That's that. One. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, start over. Continue.